Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Bailey. If you're new here, <laughs> hi, welcome. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, we're gonna, okay, I woke up this morning and I was like, I unboxed this package from Shiseido and it had a blue liner in it and I was like, oh, well, all of a sudden it turned into a full look. So I put makeup on, I literally curled my hair, which takes no time at all because my hair is so thin. And I thought I could put some lipstick on. So today we are gonna be trying the other lipsticks that I mentioned in my previous lip swatch video from Maybelline. So these are the 24 hour color, 24, super stay 24 hour color. And I'm so excited about these. You guys, remember these? I remember like my mom using these. I don't know if it was like this, line whatever but you know like the double-ended you put this on it stays and then you put this balmy like lip gloss top coat on and it's just is like on your lips and it's like not dry I, I like I love the idea of these I'm excited to try these on also I was reading the instructions here and it literally says flammable until dry so that's interesting i'm not gonna try to catch on fire today hopefully fingers crossed um let's put these on our lips i just have like a little bit of a, like a little lip balm on right now because my lips were dry honey dry i also feel like i look like a little doll like all i ever wanted in my life was to be a porcelain doll so here it is except i don't have like the nice silhouette of my hair or anything which i always love that but i don't i don't have time right now okay so let's get into these now <laughs> it does also say that when you're applying this that you have to wait for it to dry for two minutes so that's gonna take a while <laughs> to do this is the packaging super cute this is a nice like i don't even know if this is the first you know what let's try this one first it doesn't matter to me um, yeah, it says that I have to apply this and then I have to wait for it to dry for two minutes. So that'll be fun. Oh, just like I remember, you have this side with a nice doe foot applicator. It kind of has an angle to it, which is nice, nice ergonomic design. So cute. And then on this side, you have the lip balm, which I always lived for this lip balm. Like I remember digging in my mom's purse and like just putting this on whenever she would have this style of lipstick in do i have glitter on my nose oh my god maybe i do i'm a mess um this style of lipstick in her purse it doesn't really have a scent to it it just is like a glossy like lip balm moment does this have a scent to it oh it does it smells like the coffee lipsticks oh they all okay you know what let's start putting this on our lips let's start so the first up is shade where's the shade day i don't know it's on the bottom 320 caramel crush oh mm. now we wait two minutes for this to dry and i will say this lipstick is not heavy on the lips like it's a lot thinner than like a super stay matte ink but it's it's still like kind of a matte lipstick like a liquid lipstick anyway we're gonna let it dry for two minutes and pop the other shade on and keep in mind this is flammable until it's dry this is my trick whenever i'm doing lip swatch we just look like this and just like the airflow accumulates and dries it faster so let's put on the other side you guys can see this is the before nice and matte really drying lip balm And there's no transfer on there which is so cool like isn't that fun and now this is super glossy and it feels good it's not drying my lips are nice and soft plush moisturized <laughs> and it doesn't transfer that is so fun i love this <laughs> i'm so glad these are making a comeback this might not be the best makeup to be trying these lipsticks with obviously and i'm sure someone's gonna like clock me for that in the comments below but i do really like this color like if you just you just go like this okay just imagine i have a nice neutral eye on this is a stunning color it's a nice easy shade shade 325 chai once more and this one actually has a shimmer in the tube where this one was a matte this one actually has a nice gold fleck in there actually like a, it's a kind of like a green gold like reflect pearl let's put it on
Now we wait two minutes. Two minutes. What? It's been about two minutes. If you're wondering why you need to wait the two minutes for it to dry, it's so it doesn't transfer onto the balm because if you put this product on your lips and went right in with the balm, they would mix together and would defeat the purpose because this definitely is like a two-step moment in order for the product to actually work. So this color is a lot more forgiving, I feel. Any kind of lipstick has like a nice pearlescent sheen to it it's always going to give you a more like natural youthful look just because it has that like glow to it where like this i feel like yeah it's just more subtle and not so harsh like along the lip line because it kind of it's pearlescent right i actually really like this color i would wear this i would need a lip liner on my top lip though because i almost feel like it makes my top lip look small but <sighs> cute <laughs> Look who made it! Look who came to make an appearance! It's the man! It's the boy! It's the myth! It's the boy! It's him! Oh no, no, okay, are we doing that? Oh, I don't want to do that. Okay, so we are doing that. Okay, but I don't, I really don't want to do that. Okay, so. Oh my god, not, the, my, not my top. Oh my god. Okay, so, oh my god. Boy, I need you to make a choice. It's either on my back or not on my back. Oh my god, are you ripping this? Are you ripping this? Boy, literally just got mauled to death. Next up is Hushed Hazelnut, and this one also has a shimmer in the lip color. It's more of like a coppery bronze kind of moment. Let's put it on, which is just like so the opposite of me, but Oh, these smell so good. Like the chai one literally smelled like I just opened up like a tin of chai. It was crazy. Every time I wait the two minutes in order for my lips to dry, I keep touching my hair so it keeps changing. So please enjoy my six different hair looks during this video. I think this is ready. Ready to apply this on? Oh. It's just like so satisfying applying the balm on because your lips are so dry and almost sticky, I suppose. And then as soon as you put the balm on, it's like this sigh of relief. It's like the feeling of taking your bra off or uh, taking your lashes off. That's what it feels like. It smells amazing. I actually really enjoy this color. I feel like it reads way more like corally pink on the lips because you can kind of see your lips through it as opposed to just this like bronzy shade. Like, am I right? I'm totally right. I actually don't mind this color at all. Especially with this eye look, I feel like this is a look. It's a moment, huh? Wanna know something I also love about these? Every time I do a photo for my thumbnail, or turn it like this, I always get lipstick on the tube of lipstick, but because this lip balm seals it in because it's dried, I don't have to clean my tubes of lipstick. I love that. We're digging into some deeper shades now and this shade is 335 Mocha Chocolate and it's a little bit of a reddish tone, again with like a red fleck of glitter in there. I'm excited to put this one on. I'm excited to see how these like reflective ones look. Oh my God, you guys. It literally smells like a chocolate bar. Oh, if nothing else, but just to smell this, oh, I guess you can't smell it in store because of COVID. They smell so good. Take my word for it. It's been about two minutes and I can definitely say, hold on. that this mocha chocolate is such a beautiful color. Mm. Oh, I love getting this lip balm right in the corners of my mouth. Oh, that's so satisfying, oh my God. Mm. Okay, I love this color. It's like a soft, muted raspberry. I feel like whenever someone's like, oh, I want a red, but I don't really know how to wear red lipstick, I feel like this is kind of the color that they need to wear. It's like kind of deeper still but still not too in your face and not overpowering i feel like this is just really pretty 
like I feel like it's just a nice pretty color I really like it what is this called mocha mocha chocolate We are back with another matte shade, so this one doesn't have a shimmer in it. It's called 340, 340 Mocha Moves. Let's put it on. Two minutes has passed. <laughs> well, about two minutes anyway. I can't be sitting here for two minutes. I love this color, Mocha Moves. This is stunning. I love it. It's like a beautiful brown, but still like, it's almost like a brick brown, I wanna say. I don't even know how to describe it. It's just beautiful with a tiny bit of like yellow red in there. Mm, it's so stunning. I love this shade. This might, this might be my favorite one. I really like that raspberry shade, but honey, I, it's so funny. I'm just like staring at myself with it on. I live. I really do live for this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Last, but certainly never least, is this shade. 345 Espresso Edge. Is this is the darkest one. This one does have a shimmer in it again, and it's again like a mm, bronze kind of shimmer. Let's put it on. I can never know, I don't know which way these turn ever. There we go. So, towards you, got it. Does it? No one cares. Okay, let's put it on. <laughs> Okay, here's the tea. When I first started applying this shade, I thought, hmm, it kind of makes me look dead. And then I thought, that's not necessarily a bad thing. But I did kind of build up the color and really shape my lips out with this one. Usually when I do these lip swatch videos, I kind of just put it on and I don't worry too much about the lip line. That being said, I think I do have an advantage because I always put lipstick on, so. Me not trying is still, it looks okay, I suppose. That being said, I actually like this color and I like the little shimmer in it and it's not too intense. I like these shimmer shades because, yeah, like I said, it's not super opaque, so you can kind of see through it still, but then it's even on your lips. Does that make, does that make sense at all? I feel like it might, but I feel like um, I'll always love myself in a super dark lipstick, so <laughs> I just feel like I love this. It smells great too. My favorites is definitely this one and then I think like the last three that I just tried I really liked. I think those ones are my favorites to be completely honest. And the more I stare at myself in the viewfinder, the more I really like this shade. <laughs> That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Do make sure that you do subscribe and hit the notification bell. I know I'm saying it again but now I have to because I didn't for the entire six years of my YouTube career and you know what now we're doing it so please hit the notification bell and um, I love you guys and I will see you in my next video.